Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to this wonderful zoo where apparently they want us to go ahead and spawn some very unusual Alex's mobs where apparently there's going to be some brand new ones that we've never seen before. But let's go and read this book that the villagers have given us and hopefully we can make this zoo a very wonderful place. Hello Naveed, we are going to open our zoo today and we haven't spawned many animals. Can you please help us spawn the rest? The guests will be here at any minute. Wait, are you saying you haven't got any time whatsoever? Okay, let's go and hurry up and hopefully we can help every single one of these villagers spawn all of these wonderful mobs. I'm a little bit scared that we won't have enough time, especially if all the villagers are going to start showing up and we're going to be spawning mobs, which I think is going to be pretty crazy. But thankfully, the main office looks pretty decent and they've gone ahead and sorted everything out to look wonderful. But let's keep on going and let's start spawning our awesome monsters. I'm going to spawn the first one, which is the Hammerhead Shark, which I'm going to spawn right inside this pond over here. Hopefully it's big enough. Let me go and see what it looks like. I'm perfect. Cool. This guy looks so awesome. But I'm a little bit scared that his eyes might get poked out because this is a very small tank. But you know what, guys? I think maybe next time we can go ahead and spawn him in a better location, like the ocean. That would have been decent. And maybe we can spawn some friends for all these villagers. Like the rattlesnake. <laughs> Watch out. It's getting really angry. Okay. Let's make sure that the iron golem doesn't go and attack it. Villagers. Don't you guys worry. As long as you don't get too close. We should be pretty safe. Okay, let's get out of here before he goes ahead and poisons us. Thankfully though, we still got so many more to go ahead and do. So let me head inside the jungle and let's go and spawn our wonderful gorilla. Cool! <laughs> oh, and he's eating wonderful items! Oh, this is awesome! Who would have thought today we'd be catching a gorilla having such a wonderful time? Maybe we can spawn some wonderful friends for him. Let me go and do the hummingbird that will go ahead and make this place a wonderful thing. And perfect! Oh, and he's instantly flown off looking for items to peck at. As well, let's go and do the crocodile inside this water. Perfect. Let's go and have a quick look. Maybe we should have spawned it right next to all the ocelots. That was maybe a bad plan. But let's go and try and get out of here and maybe we can be a little bit safe. Thankfully, the hummingbird is having a wonderful time. Let me go and head out and let me go and see if we can spawn some other items. Thankfully, I don't have to spawn every single one of them inside the cages. I'm sure some of the villager guests would enjoy it so much if we spawn some gazelles wandering around. So hopefully these guys can have a wonderful time. <laughs> Look at them. They're shaking off all the flies. I wonder if we got some flies to go ahead and give them. Well, let me go ahead and spawn the next one, which is the Roadrunner, which I'm going to spawn right around here. This is going to be a perfect spot. Perfect! I'm hoping that the Iron Golems can go ahead and keep these monsters safe. And there he goes, instantly running off, looking for bugs to go ahead and eat. I think the villagers are going to have so much fun. But some of them are a little bit dangerous. So let me go and spawn the Grizzly Bear right inside one of these cages over here. Let me go and spawn it. I'm perfect, and let's go and have a quick look. I'm a little bit scared that he might fight with the gorilla, but I'm kind of hoping we should be alright. No, he's coming after us. Quickly, let's close this door. <laughs> I can't believe he instantly tried to attack us. Let's go see if he's trying to kill us. Okay, as long as we stay away, we should be safe. Maybe the next one we can go ahead and do is the orca. So let's go inside this exhibit, which I think is the wrong one. Yep, definitely is. And let me go ahead and check out this one over here. There is a location where we can go ahead and spawn the orca. Do you know what? Let me just do it here until we can find its own home. Let's spawn it. I'm perfect. And I feel kind of bad. It is pretty tiny in there. But I did think we had a little spot where we could go ahead and spawn it. Maybe we're a little bit confused with some of these other locations. Um, yep, I'm going to have to find a better spot for the orca. That is definitely not a very good spot. But maybe the villagers can go ahead and help us. Villager, I'm going to need some food. And maybe we can go ahead and find a wonderful home for our orca. But sadly, we're going to have to keep all the guests away from the grizzly bear. He was really evil to us. Let's get out of here and let me go ahead and do the kangaroo, which I'm kind of hoping we should be able to spawn one that roams around. Let me spawn it right around here. 
Perfect. Let's go see if it's friendly or not. I do know if you attack it, he might try and punch you. I'm hoping the villagers are going to enjoy this one so much. Yep. <laughs> it looks so awesome. Maybe we can spawn the anteater as well. This guy is the brand new mob that we can test out. And I think maybe we have some ants to go ahead and spawn for him. Let me go ahead and check. Nope. None so far, but I'm pretty sure we did see some around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. We got a leaf cutter ant. Let me spawn it. I'm perfect, and let's go see what happens. <laughs> Maybe he hasn't seen it. Okay. Oh, wait. He's actually cutting leaves. That is so awesome. Maybe he's going to take it back to his own house. Oh, I think he's seen it. Did he eat it? <laughs> I think he did. He's gone ahead and eaten our poor ant. Ah, this is such a life cycle. Well, let me go and spawn the Tasmanian devil right inside this haunted castle. And hopefully we should be able to do this. Um, villager, I hope it's okay if we go ahead and spawn some of our monsters right inside these cages. I'm kind of scared that the Tasmanian devil could be dangerous. Is he friendly? Oh, maybe he is. So let's get him out. Come on, Tasmanian devil. Let's get out of here. And I'm also kind of hoping that our Mimic Octopus will go ahead and blend in. <laughs> cool. There he goes. Slowly by slowly blending in with the ground. And he's heading straight for the water. Such a smart octopus. And let's not give up now, but let's head to the next cage. And let's go and spawn our tiger. I'm going to do it right inside here. I'm kind of hoping that the mushroom should be a wonderful location for it. Whoa. And he's already got items to attack. No. He's killing everything. Okay. Okay. Let's close this door and let's make sure he doesn't reach out for any of the villagers. This is so scary. I'm kind of hoping maybe we can spawn a friend for it. Wait, where did he go? Did he just disappear? Um, that is actually kind of unusual. Can you guys see it? Tiger, where did you go? Ah, there he is. Okay, let's get out of here. I didn't realize that Tiger could go ahead and disappear like that. Maybe he can camouflage perfectly with its surroundings. And he's instantly turned evil. Well, let's go and spawn the next one, which I'm going to do the anaconda. And hopefully this should be a pretty decent little spawn for us. Let me spawn it. I'm perfect. And let's go and see what happens. Whoa, look how big this is. And I think he's instantly coming for us. No, he's got our face. <laughs> okay, let's spawn back and let's go and do the last few items. Villagers, I'm sure we can open at any moment. But I am going to need some snacks to go ahead and finish these off. Let me go ahead and spawn our maned wolf and then our platypus. The platypus I am going to spawn with our cows, which I'm sure is going to be a wonderful little addition. And perfect. <laughs> and I'm wondering if that's Perry the platypus. But let's just leave him in there and I'm sure he should be safe in the water. And let me go ahead and spawn the maned wolf. I'm perfect. And let's close this door and let's go see what happens. I'm kind of wondering if he's going to attack the chickens. I'm really hoping it doesn't. Wait, I think he wants our chicken. Let's go see if we can give it to him. Yes, have we got our own pet now? <laughs> okay, let's go roam out and let's go see if it follows us. I'm kind of hoping he should be able to do it. Come on. Okay, let me go see if I can open this door a little bit more. I'm kind of hoping he's friendly. Let's open this door and let's go see if this works. If we can have a wonderful pet, this would be the best day ever. So let's roam out and let's go see if he follows us now. Is he doing it? I, I can't really tell. No, I don't think he is. I think he just took our chicken and they decided to roam away. Well, let me go and do the last few mobs and hopefully this should be pretty decent. I'm going to do the emu, which is a really awesome one, which I'm hoping at some point we can go ahead and ride. <laughs> and there he goes. Ah, oh, this is so crazy. Let's also do the lobster right inside this lake and hopefully none of the villagers will go ahead and steal it. And I'm sure we can go ahead and spawn a toucan to go ahead and roam around as well. But let's not stop here and let me go ahead and do the Komodo dragon, which I'm pretty sure we have to go ahead and spawn in a cage. So let me spawn it right around here. Whoops, my bad. I'm so sorry. Let's go and break this and let's go see if it helps. Perfect. Now that we've saved him, I'm kind of hoping he should have a little bit of help for us. And he's killing the poor pig. He literally just poisoned him and destroyed him. Well, let me go and spawn the bold eagle that can go ahead and roam around. And I'm sure hoping he won't attack any of our friends. There he goes. <laughs> Roaming around, instantly looking for something to eat. And let's also do the capuchin monkey that I'm going to go ahead and spawn in this main entrance. Let's spawn it. I'm perfect, and I'm hoping we can go ahead and spawn the moose for him, so all the villagers, as they enter and buy their tickets, they can go ahead and have some animals with her. Let's just spawn the tussling, which is a pretty cool animal, and I'm kind of scared he might try and go ahead and attack us, but he is one of the biggest pigs I've ever seen. Wait! 
<laughs> no! Ah, oh, this is awful! We should have spawned him somewhere else. Well, let's head out, and let me go ahead and spawn the alligator snapping gar, and let's go and spawn it right around there. Let's close this door, and perfect. I'm hoping we should be able to see him like this. Yep, I thought so. A really dangerous creature. And guys, sadly, we're on the last few monsters that we need to go ahead and spawn. So let me spawn the raccoon. That's going to be a pretty decent creature. But I'm thinking he might try and steal everyone's items. Wait, what's he doing? Hey, what's he doing? No, the bald eagle tried to attack him. This is awful. I knew we shouldn't have done that. Well, maybe we can spawn the crow to go ahead and scare off the bald eagle. And let's also do the seal, which should be a pretty decent creature. No! Someone help him! This is awful! Um, okay, I didn't realize that was going to happen. Maybe we can spawn a cockroach for the bald eagle. Let's spawn it. And there it goes. <laughs> and I can already see we've got a few villagers roaming around having a look at the animals. This is awesome! Let me not forget to go ahead and do a wonderful elephant that I should be right around here. Let's spawn it. And perfect! And look at his tusks. These are one of the biggest items I've ever seen. And let's not forget to go ahead and do a snow leopard right inside these cages over here. Let's jump over. And perfect. Let's go and spawn it right here. And there it goes. Now, let's close our door and let's make sure he doesn't escape. Maybe I could spawn the shoe bill to go ahead and keep him in check. Let's go and see if this works. I can't really tell he's trying to hunt us. So let's jump out and let's go and spawn our last item. Wait. How did he jump over? Okay, maybe we've messed up here. I have a feeling he can go ahead and jump over many blocks. Let me spawn my giant well. <laughs> that is going to be well too big for this location. But sadly, I didn't actually have anywhere to go ahead and put it. I can see he's hating this so much. I'm going to have to dig him out. Well, guys, it's been so fun today going ahead and spawning every single one of our items. Hopefully, the villagers now can go ahead and open their zoo and start their wonderful business. So guys, I wish you to another crazy Minecraft video, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press the notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out. Villagers, can I get some more items from you guys? Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video with today. The villagers need our help in going ahead and spawning some wonderful mobs inside our zoo. We have a feeling they have no animals whatsoever. Villagers, is that true? I've heard you have no animals to show for it. And I'm pretty sure it's up to us to go ahead and spawn every single one. But before we do anything, let's go and read our wonderful book that the villagers have given us. Hello Naveed, we have opened a new zoo, but have no animals to show for it. We need for you to spawn all the mobs as we need to open in 30 minutes. Quickly, before the villagers get here. Wait, are they trying to say we only have 30 minutes to go inside and I'm guessing spawn every single one of our crazy items? And I can see they're all right inside here. Okay, I'm going to take out quite a few random ones and hopefully we can go in and see what we've got. I'm pretty scared though that we might encounter some dangerous villagers. Okay, let me do every single one. And perfect. Well, villagers, don't you worry. I'm going to go ahead and do this as fast as we can. And I'm pretty sure we need to go ahead and spawn them randomly absolutely everywhere. Oh, I think we've got our first visitor. Hello, villager. I've got some wonderful items for you. Let me go ahead and spawn our first one, which is going to be a capuchin monkey. Let's go see what he looks like. Ah, oh, he's awesome. Okay, whoa, he's going to be so cool. I'm pretty excited to go ahead and do this. And right inside the water, I am going to spawn our blobfish. Where is he? Oh, what's going on? Are they trying to attack him? <laughs> this is not good. Okay, I'm pretty scared right now. Maybe I can go ahead and spawn a kangaroo in here as well. And hopefully this can be great. Ah, oh, this guy is going to be so insane. And I think he's going to try and jump over. Villagers, run for your lives. This is not going to be a very good day for us. And I do need to find the water biome because we do have so many cool items. Okay, let me go inside this little compound right around here. And let's go and see what we have. Oh, it's for the parrots. Okay, let's go inside. And perfect. And let's go find some wonderful friends for all of our parrots. So I'm going to take out our toucan. Let's also take out, let's see what else we have. Oh, we have a bold eagle. And then let me just do a few random ones. Hopefully we can go ahead and do this. I'm also guessing we could spawn our Roadrunner. That might be a good shout right now. Okay, let me go and spawn these three. So we do have our wonderful Toucan right around here. Oh, that's our Bald Eagle. Okay, our Toucan is this one. There we go. And I think all of them together should be pretty decent. 
Let's also do our Roadrunner. That's going to be another wonderful bird. Ah, this is going to be awesome. Now, I'm kind of hoping our bold eagle won't actually attack any of our mobs. But as of right now, it does seem very curious. Okay, I'm going to leave them all be. I'm going to have to breed these guys and tame them all one at a time. Well, let me get out of here. I'm perfect. And I'm so glad all the doors closed behind us. Oh, there's a snowman in here. This is pretty much a wonderful biome. Do you know what? Let's go inside. I'm pretty sure I have some snow items that we could go ahead and spawn as fast as we can. Villagers, where's the entrance to this thing? It must be around the corner. Okay, I guess we could come back. Maybe we can go inside this desert biome and let's see what we have for this. So I'm going to take out the rhinoceros. Let's also take out... Um, let me see, we've got a Komodo dragon as well as a crocodile, and I think every single one should be pretty decent. I'm just trying to make sure we spawn them all inside the right location. And perfect, okay, I think we should be good. Well, let me go ahead and spawn our rhinoceros right around here. And cool, look how awesome he looks. And his tusks are massive. His horn is going to rip through every monster. Let me also do our Komodo dragon. That looks super scary. Okay, let's not stand too close to this guy. And let's not forget about our crocodile. Run! This is not going to be good. I'm pretty sure the Komodo dragon is going to try and poison us and eat us up. Ah, here he comes. Okay, how about we do our gazelle? Nope, this is not going to help. I think he's still after us. Maybe I can get him stuck inside this wonderful store. Quickly, let's rush through. <laughs> okay, I think we've lost him. But we're now down to one of our last few helps. This can't be good for us. Well, let me just keep on going. I'm perfect. Let me spawn my Tasmanian devil right around here. Along with a rattlesnake. Oh, I think he's playing dead. Maybe we should do the same. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and be super careful with this. Keep playing dead, Tasmania Devil. You're doing a great job. But you know what? I might actually go ahead and take out the last few spawners. So let's go right back to the reception. And I think it's this way. And let's go and take out our last few items. Villagers, I've almost done it. But I do need to go inside the medit because we are running out of health right now. Let's see. Do they have anything for us? Villager, I, I think you're supposed to be the medic. But I don't see you have any items for us. Okay, this can't be good. Nope, this is not going to be great for us. Well, let me get out of here as fast as we can. Let me go ahead and take out the last few spawners, and hopefully we should be good. Don't worry, villagers. I'll take out every single one, but I want to make sure we have enough room to go ahead and spawn these guys. Well, let's rush back inside the zoo, and let's go and do this. Okay, I'm going to have to spawn a few of these guys in different biomes right now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, let me do a few of these random ones in different locations. And I've just realized our snow biome is the, right around here. Okay, let me go ahead and go inside the water one. I think that's going to be our best shot. Villagers, how do we get inside? Maybe that's why they've gone ahead and given us a few of these items so we can go ahead and mine our way through. Is there an entrance down below? Nope. Well, guys, give me a second. I'm just going to build a little ladder so we can make our way up. Ah, here we go. Well, I think I'm now ready. Let's jump inside. I'm perfect. And let's go see what we can spawn. I'm ready to go ahead and do our wonderful orca. Whoa, it's massive. And look at it. It blends in perfectly. And I can already see he's trying to find a way out. Well, we should go ahead and spawn for him some wonderful friends before he tries to go ahead and eat us. Let me spawn our giant squid. <gasps> Whoa, both of these guys together look so crazy. Okay, I'm going to have to go ahead and do this as fast as we can. Let me also go ahead and do our mimic octopus that will go ahead and mimic whatever's on the ground. Let's see. Oh, I think he's turning blue. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on around here. But I'm kind of scared we might mess up. Ah, and I think the mimic octopus is trying to go ahead and change colors right now. Well, let me also go ahead and do our lobster. And perfect. That is right around here. I can't wait to eat him later. And let's also do our tussling. Oh, what? What happened? Okay, I think something killed us, but I'm not really sure what it was. And I don't think we spawned a tussling in the right location. But you know what? Let me take out the last few spawners, and let's do this as fast as we can. I'm going to rush back, and let me go ahead and spawn a few items around here. Okay, I'm going to rush to a new biome, which I think should be right around the back. Ah, this one's perfect. Okay, it was right by the entrance. But now, how do we find the door? It should be around here somewhere. I've got to make sure we don't mix any dangerous animals with any peaceful ones. Because if we do, they could eat each other up. Well, okay, I think we might have to break something open. Okay, we're inside the panda enclosure, which I think is going to be pretty cool for us. I am going to go ahead and spawn a bison. 
I'm perfect. And look how awesome this guy looks. Maybe we can spawn some friends for him. Let's do the gorilla. <laughs> and look how insane he is. As well as the Jaboa. Oh, this little guy. And let's not forget about our mud skipper that I think is going to be pretty cool. And then also we've got a catfish that I'm going to spawn right around here. There we go. And let's not forget about our seal that's going to fit in perfectly that I hope is not dangerous. And then right inside this water I might go and spawn some other monsters. Let me see. So we've got a skunk, an anteater, platypus. Let's do our blobfish, raccoon, a rocky roller and a flying fish. There we go. So let's do our skunk right around here that we've got to be super careful of. He's going to make everything. Everyone stink. <laughs> oh no, I think he's ill. Oh, this is awful. And let's do our anteater that's going to fit in perfectly, as well as our platypus. And awesome. And then our blobfish that is going to look absolutely disgusting right now. And let's not forget to go ahead and let's also do a raccoon, as well as a rocky roller. No, that's not good. Wait, he's going to kill all our monsters. This is not going to be good for us. Okay, maybe I need to go ahead and do this. Get him, Gorilla. Get him. <laughs> Perfect. I think we need to keep on going. We've almost done this. Perfect and good. No, this is going to kill every single one of our monsters. Villagers, all of these mobs are well too confusing for us. Ah, oh, this is so sad. And we've just spawned them as well. Maybe we can hurry up as fast as we can though. And let's go and do the last few. So let me head to a brand new location in our zoo. And let's start spawning these mobs. So right around the back of the zoo, we do have normal mobs as well as normal villagers. Look at this. This is insane. I think I'm ready to go ahead and do this. But sadly, I don't know how to get inside. There must be a door around here somewhere, but I don't know where the opening is. So do you know what? Let me go and spawn our main wolf. I'm perfect. And let's also go ahead and do our alligator snapping turtle. Oh, they're going to fight each other. I'm sorry, wolf. Oh, this is awful. How about a seagull to make things better? Um, how about a rain frog? <laughs> All of these mobs are well too confusing for us. And let me take out a few more. I'm going to go ahead and spawn a cockroach, which is going to be absolutely disgusting. Ugh, gross. I'm so glad our seagull's getting out of there. And let's also go ahead and break this entrance right around here. And let me go ahead and spawn an emu, as well as a shoe bill, and then even a voodoo, which I have no idea what it is. Ugh. <laughs> is that some sort of owl? Okay, that's well too confusing for us. And let me go ahead and go to a brand new one around here. So I'm going to go ahead and inside the wolf's enclosure, let me spawn our hammerhead shark. No! Oh, we've spawned it outside! I was meant to spawn it inside the water. This is all four of us. How about we go ahead and do our little flying fish? There we go. We were able to spawn in the water. How about our catch lot well? <gasps> It's massive! Okay, we've totally messed up right now. Let's get out of here before the villagers notice. Um, villagers, did you guys spawn that well over there? Okay, I don't think they're going to suspect is us. And right inside here, let me go and spawn... Let's see what else we have. I need some sort of enclosure that's got a big roof. Ah, right around here. So with the chickens, I am going to spawn something else. Um, or should we do it around here? Maybe this sheep enclosure would be way better. Here we go. Let me spawn our wonderful elephant. Perfect! And let's also do our terrapin. That's some sort of jumping frog. And then a moose. <laughs> this is so cool! I'm so glad we've got so many more to go. And let's not forget about do, do the next few. So I'm going to go ahead and break this glass. Let me do this blue jay. As well as our hummingbird. And then a snow leopard right inside. And then a sugar glider. And then a tiger. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I'm kind of hoping the donkeys might fight back. But I don't think they're going to do it. We could just go ahead and get some more donkeys. Maybe that could sort things out. What? What is that thing? He's trying to climb up. I'm hoping he's not dangerous. Okay, maybe we'll take out the last few and then we're completely done. And we can get out of here as fast as we can. Let me do the Galada monkey. And perfect. Along with our grizzly bear. And then our banana slug. Ugh, gross. And then even we've got a tarantula hawk, which I'm going to spawn right around here. And then an anaconda. Um, this is not going to be good for us. All of those monsters are well too confusing. Ah, it's trying to get out. Okay, let's get out of here as fast as we can. And let me just break this glass and let's go and spawn our last one. There we go. And guys, I think we've done it. We've gone ahead and saved all the villagers from getting ambushed by evil villagers that are trying to go ahead and see all of these animals. This is perfect. Well, guys, I will see you soon with a crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to go ahead and comment down below which is your favorite animal that you would breed and tame and pretty much take home with you. So, guys, I'll see you all soon with a crazy one. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and post notifications bell. And, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.
Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video with today. The villagers have gone ahead and invited us to this wonderful zoo. We have a feeling they want us to go ahead and spawn loads of different animals, which I think is going to be so crazy. So let's go and speak to the villager and let's go and see how we can help. Hello Naveed, I am so glad you have arrived. Our zoo opened this morning, but all the animals escaped overnight. We need for you to spawn all the zoo animals before more visitors arrive. Quickly, before they start leaving. Wait, are you trying to say it's up to us to spawn every single one of these animals? Okay, I think it's going to be pretty insane. But I'm going to try my hardest to go in and spawn every single one before so many of these villagers get really upset. I think this is going to be so cool once we figure out exactly what we've got. But we're going to have to look around for exactly where to spawn these animals. I have a feeling there's not going to be enough gaps everywhere. I might start by going ahead and spawning our black spidey monkey. So let me go ahead and spawn it right around here. And there it is. Cool. It looks so awesome. I think this is one of the cutest guys I have ever spawned. I have a feeling we can even go ahead and spawn for him some wonderful friends. Let me do the Amur Leopard right inside with him as well. Ah, oh, these guys are going to fit in so perfectly. I'm pretty sure as well, if we keep on going right around here, we should pretty much be able to spawn some more creatures. If we can go ahead and make our way inside. Ah, oh, so far I think there are some areas that are pretty much abandoned. But let me make my way in here with all of these apples and let me spawn two of our wonderful Asian elephants. Ah, oh, there we go! Hopefully they'll go ahead and enjoy that wonderful little casket of different types of fruits. Okay, let's get out of here if we can. And perfect, and let's go ahead and see what else we have. I'm going to be so ecstatic once we figure out exactly where we're spawning the rest of these monsters. Villagers, don't make your way in here so far. I'm going to have to go ahead and spawn the rest of these monsters before anything else happens. Ah, this is going to be a wonderful little spot where we can go ahead and spawn some different creatures. So let me go ahead and spawn the Bengal Tiger right in here as well. So we've got one... And two. And look how awesome they look. But I'm scared they might be looking at me to go ahead and eat us. Nope. Okay. So we've got wonderful animal feeders. Enough apples to give every single creature so much food. And let me go ahead and spawn the African lion. Cool. I think both of these guys together are going to fit in so nicely. Maybe we can go ahead and spawn something else in here. Let's see what we have. I might actually take out some of these giraffes. Let me do the redaculated giraffes. Whoa, and there they are. Okay, let's try and get out of here as fast as we can. I'm pretty sure this is about to get really dangerous. Okay, there we go. We're all set. I'm going to make my way into the next one where I'm going to go ahead and spawn the Andean condors, which is two really unusual flight birds. Oh, this is going to be so insane. Maybe I can go ahead and spawn some greedy zebras, and hopefully these guys will fit in nicely with this whole area. So as they walk through, they'll have some lions, some elephants, and even some little zebras scattered all the way around. And right inside this little water area, I was thinking we could spawn something else. Let me break my way through. Let me spawn one orca and two walkers if we can. Come on. Nope, it's failing. There we go. Ah, it's right on top. Okay, I'm probably going to have to hit it inside. There we go. Somehow, though, I've managed to spawn so many of them. I'm going to have to close up this area, and hopefully everyone will enjoy it. But I've got a little baby one. No, and I think we can even go ahead and ride him. I think this is going to be so crazy. Villager, stand back. You could easily get yourself hurt. Maybe we keep on going, though. We can spawn some other creatures right around this area. Okay, let me take out a whole row. And perfect. And let's go ahead and see what we've got. I could go ahead and try and make our way through and spawn the Western Lowland Gorilla. Let's go and have a quick look. Whoa! Look how awesome they look. And they fit in so nicely. I'm going to spawn some friends like the old Kapai. And perfect. And hopefully they'll go ahead and enjoy this area. How about we spawn some Indian pangolins as well? There we go. Slowly by slowly, this whole area is going to fill up perfectly. How about we also do some cockatoos right inside the tree? Trees. Here we go, let's do one and two, and I think we're good. Villager, what are you doing inside? I have a feeling trying to go ahead and probably steal one of these animals. Okay, let me go ahead, let's get this glass out, and let me put it right around here. Let's see, if I do it right there, perfect. Hopefully that should work. And if we rush around to this side, we should be able to go ahead and spawn some more creatures. Where I'm pretty sure inside every single one of these cages, we can spawn something different. Ah, oh, this is going to be so insane. Can I break my way through? 
Okay, I think we can, but it is going to take a while. So let me spawn two of our wonderful anacondas right around there. Whoa! Look at it! It's kind of looking at us as it wants to eat us. That's not good. Okay, let me try and make my way around, I guess, to the back. And maybe we can spawn some other creatures like this. So if we make our way in... And perfect. We enter these little compounds. Now we can go ahead and spawn some different creatures. So let me go ahead and spawn our toucans. And there we go. And I think these guys will fit inside one cage only. So let's close these doors. Let's make our way around to the other side. And let me spawn the next couple. So I'm going to go ahead and do... Let's do the salamanders. So no one will be able to actually figure out where they are. They kind of blend in perfectly. But I am going to have to close these doors. And hopefully the next ones around here should be really cool as well. Let's make our way inside. Let's go ahead and spawn some koalas. And perfect. <laughs> oh, look how awesome they look. I'm going to have to break these trees so they can make their way down to the bottom. But they're the cutest guys ever. Maybe we can even spawn some macaws. And they'll fit in nicely. Oh, look how cute they look. Whoop, let's close this door quick. And there we go. And inside this final one, we've got all of our anacondas, which is not good for us whatsoever. Well, let's rush out of here as fast as we can. And I think I'm totally ready to spawn the next few creatures. I'm going to go ahead and do the next few right inside here. Let's do two wonderful meerkats. See, oh, these guys are going to be so cute. They fit in so perfectly. But we still actually got so many more to go in and try out. So let's rush to a brand new area and let's go and see what we have. Valencia, what do you think so far? Don't go anywhere near the anacondas. They will eat you alive. Now, I was thinking we could go ahead and actually just take out a whole set of items again. So let me take out so many random ones and let's make our way around this zoo and let's go ahead and spawn so many more. It's going to be really exciting. I was thinking we could spawn some of these Fijian iguanas right around here. And look at them. They blend in so well that I don't think any of the villagers would ever see them. How about I do the Indian Gario right around here? Whoop! My bad! Okay, these guys should probably be somewhere else. But these very scary crocodile looking monsters could easily eat all the villagers. Okay, we need to get out of here as fast as we can. Maybe I could spawn some peaceful creatures right inside here. Let me do our wonderful tree frogs. And perfect. And look at them. Oh, okay, there's two right inside there. If I go ahead and divide them, hopefully they'll be perfect. Oh, they look so cute. How about I spawn some uh, sea turtles? Maybe this will make things better. There we go. And perfect. But there is no water around here. So I'm going to have to go ahead and get some for them before things get really nasty. Let me also keep on going by doing our black rhinoceros right inside this little encounter. Perfect. And good. Let me spawn them right inside here. And hopefully this will be perfect. Ah, oh, look how awesome they look. I think we're going to be so well. Let me not give up now, and let me do some of these owls right around here as well. So we've got one and two. Whoop! Okay. Oh, there they are! <laughs> and look how scary they sound! I think these guys are going to go ahead and look for some sort of termites. So maybe we could go ahead and spawn some brown rats for them to go ahead and eat. Let me do one and two. There we go. They now have their little meals. And I think they might actually be looking for them. Well, let's get out of here before everything gets really dangerous. And let me spawn. Um, let's see what else we got. I'm going to have to probably go over to this side and find a brand new enclosure. Villagers, do you guys know where we can go ahead and spawn some more creatures? I think right inside here would be the perfect spot. So let me break my way through. And perfect. Let's go ahead and spawn these walruses right inside the water. And perfect. How about we go ahead and do the Galapagos tortoises as well. And hopefully all of these guys will be perfect together. And let's not forget about the albatross with some moose. <laughs> there we go. I think these guys are going to go ahead and pretty much grow their horns later on in their life. And I even think all the villagers will be super excited to find out that we've gone ahead and spawned some Sumatran rhinosauruses. There we go. These guys are going to be so perfect, but their names are pretty hard to go ahead and tell. Well, let me break my way out of here. And perfect. Let me go ahead and close this door to make sure nothing escapes. And hopefully the next few creatures should be right around here to be able to be spawned. Ah, oh, this is going to be so great. Okay, let me take out a whole new row. And perfect. Let me go ahead and spawn some jaguars with some echinas. Oh, 
There we go. These guys have some crazy spikes on them. But I'm kind of scared of being inside an enclosure with these scary monsters. So let me spawn some chidlets. Oh, my bad. Okay, they're supposed to be fish. Quickly, let me try and push them over. Maybe we can go ahead and make them reach the water. Excuse me, jaguars. I need to go ahead and save these poor fishies. I know they've only got a little bit longer to live. Yes, we've done one. Okay, let's make our way over. Let's go and do this next one. Quickly, he's so close. We can go ahead and save him. Here we go. Perfect. Yes, we've done it. <laughs> awesome. I can't believe we've saved two wonderful fishies. Maybe something else like this octopus can go ahead and change things up around as well. There we go. Hopefully all of them together will go ahead and live peacefully. How about we also figure out what these red pandas look like? I think right inside here, it'll be perfect. They look exactly like the movie. Well, I think we've done so many creatures so far. So let me head back to the chest and let's go ahead and see if we've got some more creatures to go ahead and spawn. Which I think is going to be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, here's the exit. Oh, and whilst on our way back, I have found some very awesome uh, sort of enclosures where we can go ahead and spawn some of our little fishies. So let me actually take out every single fish creature that we have, and hopefully we can go ahead and spawn them all together. Okay, I think we're good. Let me spawn the bottlenose dolphins, and perfect. And I think these guys are going to be so fun to go ahead and spawn with our great white sharks. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a bad idea. Now, we've gotten ourselves inside. Okay, we're going to have to get out of here as fast as we can. Let me spawn these little blue fish and perfect along with our clown fish. And there we go. And I'm really excited to even go ahead and spawn our coconut crabs. Ah, oh, these guys are going to love this. And also the puffer fish would enjoy this so much. What? Watch out for the dolphins. They're getting really scared. Let's also do the Amazon River dolphins. And then hopefully all of them together can fit in nicely. No! How did that happen? Oh, it seems like they've gone ahead and gotten themselves stuck. This is so sad. Maybe I can go ahead and spawn some other creatures on the way back. Let me do the two rattlesnakes and perfect that I think are going to go ahead and look for a home and warn everyone that walks by. Well, let me make my way back to the chest and let's take out the final few spawners and let's go see what they look like. And the great news is, is that none of the other villagers have actually left. Which means slowly by slowly, we are completing this wonderful mission and we should almost be done. Villagers, don't you guys worry. We've only got a few more animals to go ahead and try out. Which I'm just going to go ahead and spawn as fast as we can. Let me spawn two Komodo dragons right around here. With some bold eagles, which I think is going to go ahead and eat up all those rats we spawned. And let's not forget about the harpy eagle, which I'm going to go ahead and probably spawn just around here. It doesn't matter where we go ahead and spawn them. They'll pretty much fly around and enjoy themselves. Let's also go ahead. Let's do, let's see, we've got some platypuses, which is going to be so cute to go ahead and spawn, which I'm going to do right around here. Ah, look at these guys. They look so awesome. And we're also going to have to go ahead and spawn some polar bears because I don't think there's actually any sort of snow biome around here. So we're going to have to go ahead and spawn them right there. Let me do the lion tamarins right around here. And perfect. That will go ahead and eat up all the trash. And hopefully it'll be decent. And let's not forget to go ahead and make our way inside this enclosure. And let's spawn some more monsters. I think it's going to be so insane. I'm going to go ahead and spawn the free gates right around around here along with let's see what we've got the Koatimundi right around there with our let's do our Tasmanian devil and there we go slowly by slowly this is the best enclosure ever perfect and good whoops my bad just in case something tries to escape hopefully we can go ahead and close this all up well, so far we've done a great job. We're going to have to keep on going though and make our way up to a brand new enclosure to spawn the last few monsters. Cool, I don't think we've actually been here. So I'm going to go ahead and break my way in and perfect. Let me go ahead and spawn the Brazilian tapirs right around here and perfect. Along with some marine iguanas that I'm going to go ahead and spawn inside the water and then some marine tanks. There we go. This is going to be so cute. And let's not forget about the American bison, which hopefully right inside should fit in perfectly. And I'm going to go ahead and close up this area because I think that's enough animals inside one spot. There we go. And perfect. Villagers, check out this brand new enclosure. I've just gone ahead and finished it right now. Let me also do some African elephants right inside this little one here. 
and perfect, along with some cossuaries. There we go. Oh, these guys are so awesome. Now, I can't figure out if they're my favorite animal, but they're definitely up there. They look so cute. And finally, guys, let me go ahead and just spawn the rest of our monsters, which I'm going to do the grizzly bear right around here, along with a couple beavers. And cute. And then some gila monsters right around here. Wait. These guys can't be real. <laughs> they look so awesome. And let's not forget to go ahead and do some common hippopotamuses right around there. And perfect. As well as some common chimpanzees right inside this same enclosure. And then we can take out the last few monsters. It's going to be such a shame. Let's do our red kangaroos. And perfect. Along with our garrows, which I'm going to spawn right inside here. Let's go and see if this will work. And perfect. There we go. Whoops, move! You gotta get off that spot. If not, he will go ahead and die. Well, let me go ahead and spawn the pygmy hippopotamuses right around here. And perfect. They look so cute together. I have a feeling they're gonna fit in perfectly. Let's also do the three toed sloth right around here. And there we go. Slowly by slowly, this is gonna be the best place ever. And I think I'm down to the last three. So let me figure out where to spawn them. I think they're all water creatures. We're going to have to find a spot where there's a decent amount of water. Oh, wait. I think I found it. Um, is that big enough? Maybe I can go ahead and spawn just a couple of these eels. Let's go ahead and see if this will work. There we go. Two moral eels right around here. I've been looking for the longest time of where I can actually spawn the last few. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it right inside here. So I'm going to have to go ahead and spawn two humpback whales inside this very small area of water. And right inside the next one, I guess I could go ahead and spawn the two sharks. Which is going to be pretty cool as well. So let me spawn the two tiger sharks right inside there. And there we go. We've gone ahead and spawned the most awesome zoo ever. And we've gotten ourselves stuck right on the final one. Well, guys, it's been so awesome today. Go ahead and pretty much spawning every single animal. Hopefully next time we can go ahead and do it and open up to you guys. I think it's going to be so awesome. So, guys, I wish you soon with a crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out. Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today we are visiting our awesome lab to see what the villagers want us to do. I have a feeling they've gone ahead and given us some brand new items. So let me take out this book as well as our sword and our feral wolf head and let's go and see what we can do today. Hello Naveed, we have crafted some brand new animal spawners that we need you to test out. Once they have been fully tested we can release them into the rest of the world. Wait! They want us to go ahead, spawn every single one of these mobs, and see what they look like? Okay, I guess we have no choice but to go ahead and do this. So let's head inside the lab, which is super secure, and hopefully this should work. Here we go! Let's enter it, and perfect! It's our wonderful sanctuary where we can go ahead, spawn so many mobs, and slowly by slowly figure out what monsters we have. As well, later on we can go ahead and spawn some aquatic mobs, which I think is going to be perfect. But guys, before we get started, it would be awesome if every single one of you went down below and you press the red subscribe button. And that way you'll never miss another video ever again. So let's start spawning them and I'm going to go ahead and spawn the turkey. <laughs> cool. I think he's going to enjoy it in the sanctuary very much. And I think slowly by slowly we can figure out if these monsters deserve to be inside the real world. Let's keep on going though and let's do the butterfly. And perfect! It's slowly by slowly flying away. And it's even got some particles, which I think is going to be really awesome. And let's go ahead and keep on going by spawning the moose that is going to go ahead and love all of this snow really well. Wait, why is the moose trying to hurt us? What did I even do? Run! <laughs> okay, maybe we have to go ahead and spawn other monsters first then. Let me do another one once we spawn back. Ah, oh, This is going to be so difficult for us. Maybe I can spawn a couple out here already. Let me spawn the goats. I'm perfect. And also, maybe we can go ahead and do the brown bear. These guys will be a good little combination. But I'm a little bit scared that the brown bear might try and hurt us. He is looking at us, trying to think if he should eat us. Um, maybe our feral wolf head can keep us very safe. Okay, I think we're good for now. Let's go ahead and do the coyote, which I think is going to be pretty awesome. And let's get ready. Oh, wait, he's not trying to hurt us. I think he might be trying to hunt some different animals. Okay, I'm going to leave him there and hopefully we should be alright. But let's head back inside our lab and let's go and see what we have. Yep, 
I think the moose is gone for now. Let me keep on going by doing the dragonfly. I'm perfect. And there it goes. <laughs> it's super tiny, so you'll probably miss it. Okay, let me take out some more monsters because we have so many to go ahead and do. I'm a little bit worried that the aquatic mobs could be really dangerous. Let me spawn the badger, which for now, whilst we are in a snow biome, it might be very difficult for him. But let's keep on going by doing a squirrel. And cool. <laughs> and look at it. It's got some red eyes. Wait, is he really trying to escape? Um, I think maybe this whole place could be really dangerous eventually. I'm just a little bit scared that some of these monsters could easily find a way out. And we even have a wolf as a little guard. Maybe we can leave him around here somewhere once we go ahead and tame him. Let me keep on going by doing the brown bear. And perfect. And cool. I think it's going to fit in with this place very nicely. But as you can see, this sanctuary is slowly by slowly becoming a very scary place. The amount of monsters around here is getting really dangerous. Let me do the songbird, which is going to be a wonderful creature that should be able to fly around everywhere. I think he's going to like this very much. Let's also do the feral wolf that we already have a head of. And let's keep our sword very close to us. Wait, he's definitely coming towards us. Okay, this is a monster that we can't allow to be loose. Oh, what a crazy day. And wait, what's going on there? Um, monsters? Is this some sort of weird creature? I have no idea what's happening. I'm kind of scared to go in it though. Whoa, what is that? It's the badger going ahead and digging away. <laughs> Look at it. This is insane. I haven't seen a creature like this in such a long time. But I guess we've still got so many more to go ahead and do. So let me spawn the deer and let's go see what this one looks like. I'm going to do it right around here. Ah! Perfect! Okay, I think he blends in with this biome perfectly. And I have a feeling the squirrel is still trying to find a way out. But I don't think he's realized once we spawn the rest of these monsters, we will have to go ahead and head to the aquatic biome. So if any monsters want to go ahead and keep themselves safe, now's the chance. Let me go ahead and let's do the pheasant. I'm perfect. And this guy looks super cool. But I have a feeling he might be the odd one out here. I don't think he likes to fly. And let me go and spawn the Lama Gaia. Oh! Oh, it's some sort of falcon. And I think he might be going straight after the squirrel. He's headed in that direction. And he's definitely found a way out. This is not going to be good whatsoever. And let's also not forget to go ahead and do the walrus, which I think is going to be so crazy. I think he's going to like this very much. But it might be slightly too cold for him. And let's also go ahead and do the boar, which is going to be pretty awesome right now. Wait, don't fight. Okay, I think that was the boar's fault. So I'm just going to kill the boar. And hopefully that should have been a good decision. I'm a little bit scared though. That slowly by slowly there's gonna be so many monsters in here that everything is gonna be madness But let me do the bobbit worm and let's go see what it looks like. Oh Wait, is this some sort of giant worm? <laughs> okay, let me go and fight it because I don't want this monster to be let loose Perfect and let's go and spawn the final ones which is the goose and perfect and the final one the tarantula ah! Let's go and kill this monster quick before he tries to take over our world Oh, I'm so glad we survived that one. But I guess now's our chance to go ahead, head out, and let's go and head to our wonderful aquatic biome. There we can go ahead and spawn some brand new monsters, and we can test them out, which I think is going to be so great. I'm a little bit scared, though, that in the aquatic one, it's going to be so dark, we won't be able to see a thing. I'm kind of thinking, though, this is definitely in the outer world. So as soon as we spawn these aquatic ones, there's going to be no chance in putting them back inside their spawners. Let's head down all the way to the bottom, and perfect and let's go and do this yes we've done it okay let's keep on going and let's go see what the chest is i think it should be around here somewhere oh here it is let's take it out let's throw in the items we no longer need and let's take out our whole scuba gear which is going to be pretty good addition let's put on our boots our leggings and perfect as well as our chest plate and our helmet and i think now we should be able to survive in this water and do a great job <laughs> here we go this is going to be so insane but now is a chance to head back and hopefully we should be able to take out all these spawners okay let me do this i'm a little bit scared though that these spawners could easily take over our world let's head out and let's start spawning our wonderful creatures like the barracuda cool let's go and have a closer look now, he does look kind of scary. His teeth are massive, but I'm kind of hoping he won't try and attack us. Stay back. <laughs> We're friendly. We're all the ones that spawned you. Whoop. He's doing some sort of weird bubble thing. 
Oh, I think it's coming after us. Okay, let's try and swim away as fast as we can. I'm going to have to go ahead and spawn the flying fish, which I'm going to spawn right around here. I'm guessing the flying fish would just go ahead, try and fly out of the water, and it should easily take over everything. Um, the barracuda is still coming after us. I don't think this is good whatsoever. Stay back, barracuda. I should have definitely have taken our sword. Okay, let me spawn another one, which I'm going to do is the colossal squid. Whoa. There it is! It's definitely trying to take over our world right now. And I think it might be trying to come towards us too. But I'm kind of scared that this barracuda is just not going to give up. Should we head towards the colossal squid and see what happens? Let's see. Is he going to try and hurt us? Oh, he might be friendly. <laughs> ah, and he can definitely ink our world. Okay, I don't think this is going to be good for us either. Let me just get out of here as fast as we can before the barracuda tries to destroy us. I'm going to spawn the crab. <laughs> and look how cool this looks. Ah, this barracuda is going to definitely destroy our world. Let me just try and get rid of him as fast as we can. And there we go. Our wonderful crab is going to enjoy this world so much. Let's head out and let me go ahead and spawn the horse crab. Let's go and see. Perfect. <laughs> and I think this one will just go ahead, stay on the bottom floor, and I don't think it will try to ever reach the top. So, I think it's pretty safe. Let's spawn our next dangerous monster, which is going to be the shark, which I don't think is going to be friendly whatsoever. Maybe this is our chance to get out of here and try and hide between all of these lava structures. This is exactly what they've used, so go ahead and make all these spawners. Let me spawn the Nautilus. I'm perfect. And I can't tell if this is supposed to be a water creature or one that belongs above ground. But if we're hiding behind here, I think we should be safe. Let me keep on going, though, by spawning the lamprey. I'm perfect. And let's go see what it looks like. Cool. I think we're safe. Wait. It's attached onto us. No. <laughs> okay. Let me try and get rid of it. Um, I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to have to try and hit it away somehow. But it's just going to go ahead and try and attack us. Ah, This is not going to be good. Did it work? Okay, I think maybe it would try to attack us. And here comes the shark. Let's try and stay back from this guy. He's definitely going to charge at us and try to destroy us. Let's swim out as fast as we can. And let me spawn the jellyfish. Oh, that's given us poison and has taken away some of our blindness. Let's go see what happens. No. <laughs> and the shark has killed us. Ugh, what a crazy day. But thankfully, we only have a few more spawners to go ahead and do. So let's head out and let's go see what they look like. Thankfully, the goat and the bear are still alright, and I can even see from here our squid. So let me go ahead and spawn the last few, which is the freshwater eel. Let's spawn it, and perfect. Let's go see what it looks like, and cool! I think this comes along very nicely to our world. I do think every single water creature should be added to the game. Sometimes our world can look so empty that I don't think anything else would help. Let me do the salt water eel, and perfect. Ah! Cool. Look at his wonderful texture. I think this guy is going to fit in very nicely. But let's try and finish it off by doing the well. I'm perfect. <laughs> and it's going to be absolutely massive that I don't think any other creature can compare. Let me also do the octopus. I'm perfect. And there it is. Cool. It looks like the octopus from Finding Nemo. Maybe we can leave all of these guys be and slowly by slowly they can enjoy their world. Okay. I think we're safe. But let's just spawn the last two, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Which is going to be the piranha. And perfect. Let's go see what it looks like. Ah, oh, look how tiny it is. <laughs> and it's definitely trying to go ahead and fight us. And let me spawn the final one, which is the giant squid. Which is slightly different to the previous one. And it's trying to go ahead and eat all the eels. Okay, now's my chance to get out of here, and let's go and do this. And sadly, we're done. We've gone ahead and spawned every single one, and the villagers are going to be so glad to find out that pretty much every spawner has been pretty decent. So I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and do a report now and let them all know. So guys, I wish you soon with a crazy Minecraft video, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press the notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out. Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today we've been invited to the zoo to go ahead and help them find their animals because apparently last night every single one of their animals escaped and the villagers are waiting to get in so let's go make our way through and let's go see what they want us to do I have a feeling everything we need is right inside this chest Ah, perfect! And we have loads of spawners today but let's go see what this book says Hello Navid, we need a huge favour we have guests waiting outside to see their new zoo. 
but someone left the gate open last night and all the animals escaped. Help us populate the zoo again. Ah, oh, that explains why we have all these spawners. This is gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna take out every single one, and once we're done, we can go ahead, open the gates, and all the villagers can go ahead and check out what's gonna be inside the zoo. But as of right now, every single one of the mobs are getting really angry. So let's go and start spawning some of our wonderful items. I'm gonna start with this little compound right around here. So if we go inside, Close the door behind us, and let's get spawning the gazelle, which is a definitely in a rightful biome. But guys, before we spawn anyone else, I do want to go ahead and give a shout out to Annie, as well as William for being members of this channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you gotta do is go ahead, press the join button below, and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. And guys, I think the gazelle would love it so much if every single one of you went down below and pressed the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. And then you'll never miss another update video ever again. I think that would be perfect. Well, let's go and find a friend for this gazelle because we can't leave it by itself. I'm going to go ahead and give it, let's do... So we got an emu, which I think is going to be perfect. And let's spawn this as a wonderful friend. There we go! Hopefully now they can both roam around and enjoy themselves. And the emu looks so cool. These Alex mobs are going to be the best mobs ever. This zoo is going to be so cool. But we haven't finished yet. Let me go ahead and spawn the Capucci monkey, which I'm going to do right here. And hopefully you enjoy roaming in the trees. I think it's going to be so crazy. But I think they're getting hungry. So very soon we have to go ahead and find them some food. I think three mobs is definitely perfect for this wonderful compound. So let me go ahead, let's get out of here, and let's go ahead to the next one, which I think is going to be great. Should we go ahead and do the ice one? I think this is going to be so crazy. But I'm not really sure what to spawn. So let's go ahead, and let's go and see what we can spawn in here. Okay, I think we can go ahead and do the snow leopard, which is definitely going to be perfect. Let's do the grizzly bear because it's probably used to the cold weather. And then the seal. And then we can go ahead and probably figure out what we can do later. But as of right now, let's just go ahead and do these four, including the moose. And then we can go ahead and do the rest. Let me spawn the snow leopard, which hopefully won't eat the other mobs. And perfect! There we have it. Hopefully it'll leave us alone as well. If it kills us, it'll be so sad. And let's spawn the grizzly bear. And there we go. It looks so cute. <laughs> it doesn't look violent whatsoever. But I think it is getting mad. It is trying to call us to leave it alone. And let's also spawn the seal, which is going to go ahead and love this wonderful biome. See, it's loving the snow. This is perfect. And let me go ahead and do the moose, which I think is going to be great. There we go. Hopefully they will all live together and they won't go ahead and harm themselves. Okay, let me get out of here. Let me go ahead and spawn the rest. And hopefully the villagers are ready once we go ahead and open up the doors. Let me try and do some birds. I'm going to do the crow right around here. That is perfect. But it's going to fly away now and choose his own biome. And how about we do the shoe bill? Perfect. I think this guy's going to be so crazy. And hopefully it doesn't fly away. I think he's going to love this place very much. And if we go ahead and find a swimming pool, we should be able to go ahead and spawn the orca. And then later on, we can go ahead and check out the monster coaster, which is going to be pretty crazy. I think the swimming pool is right through here. Well, let's head inside. Let me go and spawn the orca right around here. And perfect. And there we go. <laughs> yes, he loves it. But the orca is probably going to go ahead and eat some other fish if we go ahead and spawn them. So we're going to have to go ahead and make sure we don't spawn too many mobs inside one. And I think this is the jacuzzi, which is so warm. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Well, let's not stop here. And let me go ahead and spawn a few other items. I'm going to take out the hummingbird. Let's do the shark as well then, the bald eagle, and then I think we also have a blobfish, a hammerhead shark, and then we can do a platypus as well, but we can probably spawn it out of the water, and then we can go ahead and do the rest. But as of right now, I think these are the only ones we can probably go ahead and do. Perfect, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and spawn every single one of these right inside this area. Hey, get inside the water! <laughs> That's such a crazy mob. Let me do the hummingbird right around there, and perfect. Can you guys hear it? It sounds so cool. And I think the orca is slowly by slowly getting himself back in the water. Perfect. Let me do the frilled shark. And perfect. And we've got to make sure we stay away from this one. As soon as we get close, it's probably going to go ahead and try and eat us. 
And I'm going to spawn the bald eagle right around here because as it's a bird, it doesn't really matter where we spawn it. And then let me do the blobfish. <laughs> Look at that thing. It looks well too cool. If we head under, we can go ahead and check them all out. Ah, oh, this is awesome. I think the villagers are going to love this very much. Okay, let me do the hammerhead shark, which is going to be perfect. And then we can do the platypus. That he can probably go ahead and enjoy himself in the water as well. There we go. <laughs> Look how cute he looks. And let's spawn a few more friends like the crocodile. And perfect. And let's do the lobster. And then finally, the alligator snapping turtle. There we go. <laughs> hopefully now they can all live together. And hopefully they don't attack each other, which I think they're doing okay. Now the turtle is destroying every single one of them. Okay, we're about to figure out if they're all going to die. But I guess that's life inside the wild. So let's get out of here and let's go and spawn a few more Alex mobs. I think so far these have been so cool. But in the meantime, I think we should check out the monster coaster. Because I think this is going to be really cool. So we head inside, we jump on the roller coaster, we press this button, and it'll take us into a wonderful room. Oh, this is supposed to be a horror room. And thankfully, we're going to stay inside the minecart. If anything happens to us, we're probably going to die and we're going to be eaten. Ah, evil slimes. That's so intense. But I think so far, they're taking us into different rooms to try and show us exactly what it's like. Thankfully, there are no skeletons. I hate skeletons so much. But I think it's going to take us back down through a different route. Let's go see what's going to happen. Ah, I was going to push us off the roof. <laughs> We're flying. Oh, perfect. I'm so glad we landed in the safe spot. And there we go. The coaster is now done. That was so fun. But we still got so many mobs to go ahead and do. Let me just take out every single one and let's start spawning them around. I'm probably going to have to find another little area to go ahead and do this. So let me go ahead. Let's head inside this biome and let's start spawning some of these mobs. I think this is going to be great. So we open the door. And let me go ahead and spawn the gorilla, which I'm going to do right around here. I'm perfect. <laughs> Look at this guy. I think he's trying to escape. No, nope, don't you dare escape. Okay, I think we're safe. Let's do the leaf cutter ant. That's probably going to go ahead and start chopping down this tree. Where's he going? No, stay here. <laughs> they all want to leave. And for some reason, obviously, the ant can climb anything. Let me do... Let's do the crimson mosquito right around here, which I'm a little bit scared of. And run! Ah! It's sucking our blood! <laughs> this is awful! We're probably going to have to go ahead and smack it off us before it consumes all of us. Ah! Get this off us! There we go. Oh, thank goodness. But I can still hear it. There must be other ones around. This is so awful. Let me do the mimic octopus right around here. And cool! So we'll go ahead and live on land as well as the ocean. And it will start changing colors and blending with its surroundings. That is well too scary. You don't want to be surrounded by this guy. Let's also do the tiger, which looks so cute as well. And then the fly. Ah, another one that's bitten us. He's grabbing hold. <laughs> that's crazy. Villagers, maybe you don't want to go inside. These mobs are well too intense. Okay, let's spawn the fly, which is a wonderful creature and hopefully doesn't kill us. Okay, I think we're good. And let's also do the elephant, which I'm going to spawn inside this one over here. Hopefully, this is a good little spot. If I spawn inside this one that is completely empty, I think we should be safe. Let's go inside. Let's head inside this one. And let's spawn the elephant. Perfect! This is one of the biggest creatures we're probably going to go ahead and do. And let me spawn a friend for him like the Komodo dragon. And then the kangaroo. No! Why is it trying to attack us? It's attacking everything. Okay, let's get out of here. I've just realized I've probably left both of those doors open. And all those animals can escape. And I think some of the villagers are already making their way through. So let's let them all in. And we can finish off some of our wonderful mobs. Let me take out the rest. And I think I'm just going to spawn them around. Let me go ahead and do the kakachu whale, which I'm going to do right inside here, which I think should be enough space. Whoops, it's well too big. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hopefully it will go ahead and figure out a wonderful spot for itself. But sadly, it's massive. I didn't realize how big it was going to be. But I don't think it would even fit inside the other pool. So I think we're safe. Let me spawn the raccoon right around here. 
as well as a Roadrunner friend, and then Augusta. Ah, what is that thing? Okay, that's not supposed to be in there. I think the villagers have messed up. <laughs> and it's trying to go ahead and consume us. Let's run away and let me go ahead and spawn the Tasmanian Devil, which I'm going to spawn right around here. Perfect. I think this one's going to be awesome. And I think he's already trying to escape. Let me spawn the rattlesnake. And then finally, the cave centipede. <gasps> that is another massive creature. No wonder they left the gates open. I think the one that did is gone ahead and been eaten by one of those evil monsters. Maybe we need to go ahead and start closing things down. Well, guys, today's been really cool. And someone's already eaten all the mobs, which is pretty sad. And hopefully we can go ahead and open up this zoo and everyone can enjoy it. So, guys, until then, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below button is red and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.